Nearly three years after Shift4 founder and CEO Jared Isaacman made history with the inspiration for spaceflight, he is headed back to space. Polaris Dawn is scheduled to launch as soon as August 26th, and it too will be historic. The all-civilian crew will spend five days in orbit inside a SpaceX Dragon capsule flying higher than any human ha humans have since the Apollo era. And they will conduct the first ever private spacewalk using brand new SpaceX spacesuits. On board, Isaac Min, the mission's commander, Scott Kid Poteet, mission pilot, and Sarah Gillis and Anna Menon, both SpaceX engineers, as mission specialists. Now, I spoke exclusively with the crew as they wrap up training inside SpaceX's headquarters and begin to quarantine ahead of their journey to Kennedy Space Center and beyond. Welcome to our simulator. We have spent, uh, I, I don't know, probably hundreds of hours in here over the last two and a half years. Uh, this is where we do everything from science and research experiments to running through simulations of launch and reentry, and then all of the, you know, Apollo like Apollo 13 like uh, emergencies they can uh, they can throw at us. So um, this has become like a home away from home for us. I think it's uh, especially significant because just a couple days ago we put our, uh, our our mission patch sticker on the outside of the simulator and signed it, which is what you get to do when you're you're certified to for flight. So. From here, we're heading to Kennedy Space Center in just a couple days and getting ready for launch. The fact that on this mission, part of the objective is to be flying three times further out into Earth orbit than the International Space Station currently is right now. What has gone into the training to be able to do that? What do you expect in terms of some of the experiments and some of the testing and some of the health outcomes? Yeah, great question. So the training program we've been at it, this journey is about two and a half years long. You know, we spent a lot of time in this capsule going through the procedural training, uh, the checklist procedures, working together as a team, um, crew resource management, handling the contingencies, uh, just working together to uh, in order to, to have a successful mission. Along with that, uh, we've done a lot of practical training to get ready for the EVA. So we've dedicated a lot of time, a lot of resources. Um, the team here at SpaceX has done an awesome job to prepare us for this mission. Uh, and as you mentioned, um, setting, um, we're gonna continue to push the envelope and, and setting that higher altitude as an objective uh, is critical to a successful mission. So we're all looking forward to it and excited for what the journey has. And speaking of EVA, we're talking about spacewalk. This will be the first time we've ever seen a fully private spacewalk. Jared, you'll, you'll be doing that. Sarah, you will be as well. I realize the spacecraft is going to be vented, so everybody's going to be having that exposure to space. But Sarah, what's gone into this? What are you expecting to get from being in space for several hours? Yeah, thanks, Morgan. You know, this entire objective this this um, spacewalk that we're going to book that we're hoping to accomplish has been such a tremendous team endeavor over the last two and a half years um, you know SpaceX didn't even have an EVA suit and we started and over the last development we have slowly been iterating on the suit design and it has been this back and forth between coming in and testing brand new joints brand new features every week and so at this point we've spent probably well over 100 hours in the suits, um, and I can tell you they're incredible. But a lot of that training has happened right here. You know, all four of us are gonna get suited up, pressurized, and that's what the simulator does. It allows us to train end to end the response, how the suits pressurize, the full sequence of software that we'll go through. Um, and I don't, I don't really think there's any rock that the SpaceX team hasn't looked under at this point. Now that you're seeing the capsule um, during the spacewalk, this is up above us is where we'll actually go out into the vacuum of space. Um, so we're, we'll all be in this volume and then depressurize our atmosphere and climb up through that forward hatch. Um, so I think it will be incredible and I think we're ready. I mean, space is not without risks. The Boeing Starliner situation sort of sheds a light on the risks of testing new technology, for example. Has that situation changed how you think about spaceflight and your own mission? You know, uh, I think we are certainly needing to continue to explore. We can't stop um, making progress and continuing to push technology. You know, there's so many critical objectives on this mission, and I know we're, we're really excited to get to them. Um, I also know how much work the entire SpaceX team has put into ensuring there's absolutely nothing we haven't assessed and looked at. Um, so I, I think 
we're all ready. The SpaceX team, our mission control team is ready. Um, and so we're, we're ready to launch at this point. And sometimes we just actually crave a normal simulation where nothing goes wrong. <laughs> um, in fact, like when you think about the last two and a half years of development and training for this, almost every scenario that we're approached has multiple things that are going wrong to kind of stress the situation and make sure we're prepared. Even yesterday, which was a final confidence test of the EVA operation, two different things went, went wrong. So, I mean, the, the reality is, is that when the actual mission comes time to fly, most of these things, if not all of them, are going to go exactly as planned. But if not, I mean, we spent the last two and a half years preparing for, you know, unexpected developments.